What's going on YouTube? Welcome to another video here on the Poker Staples channel. I have a very special intro today because I am in Run It Up Reno form. Got a little flow show action going on. Where can they check you out on YouTube, Jeff? This is a pre-video plug right now. Oh, I love that. Jeff Goes Poker on YouTube, Twitch, the whole deal. Jeff Goes Poker across there the There it board. is. There it is. So today, the video you're going to check out, $22 PLO. Made a very deep run. I think you guys are going to like it. A little mixed game action. I don't know if PLO is a mixed game. I think it's a mixed game. It's no limit holding in mixed games. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Drop a thumbs up and a subscribe and enjoy. And here we should probably get this in with enough flush draw and like a lot of good turns. Jack, Queen, King, or Ace will give us a wrap. Any of those cards. Plus any heart, of course, gives us the nuts. Ooh, they have three of the hearts. Ten. Ah, oh, dude. That's annoying. We can re-enter though and we'll do it. That's annoying. Oh, a flop of the Nizzy, man. Just stop and go here. We don't really want to see check bags. 9-8 spade draw. Aw, oh, man. Hey, we got our full house. All right, we got it at the end. We get three bet from the Wasp lore. We'll call. To the streets. All right, we flop a pair of sevens. Um, no clubs or anything. Really depends on sizing as to whether we can continue here or not. And they bet small enough where we definitely can. Eight, nine, ten is all good. Jack is good. All sorts of good things. Nine is good. Now I think we probably want to lead here, honestly. The likelihood they have 5-6 in their hand is low, so us having top pair beats all of their aces combos and stuff. Uh, and there's so many draws we can get value from, so I'm going to lead on the big side here. Uh, we can definitely get called from ace-ace, you know, with clubs or whatever. Uh, we want to protect equity against those things too, so... King in the rear. Uh, we'll still go for it all here, given we have one-third of pot. Hope they don't have, like, king-three, king-four, king-seven, king-nine. It was pretty unlikely, though, with us having a 9-7 in our hand. It's pretty thin, but, like, checking doesn't really accomplish much. I don't think they're ever going to bluff. We can probably get some calls from aces every once in a while. They fold up to 132k. Good stack, man. Really good stack. An interesting spot here. Ace, ace, king, 10, 7. Double suited, but not to the ace. Single suit to the ace. Start with a call. Oh, look at this flop. Flop top set. And we block the second pair, so... I mean, we have all of the cards here, but then again, in this game, there's so many draws, right? They have queen, jack, 10. They can have queen, high clubs or something. We want to raise now. All right, here we go. We have a double sweat. They do have queen, jack, 10. Hey, we win. Let's go. 124K and a knockout. Ace, king, ace, king, nines. No, it's a nine on the turn. In the money, I, I forgot to mention red felt height. We've cashed the five card PLO. $36 locked up. Let's go, man. Let's go. Here, I'm going to float. It's a bad flush draw and a bad... Well, and a, a nut gut shot, but I still think it's worth it. And they bet on the turn. We'll call. Question is, do we call the river? Uh, I think what it comes down to is flop sizing. They bet 8K into like 18K on the flop, which I think is kind of unlikely, honestly, unless they have a really good combo hand with the flush. I think it's more likely they have the ace of clubs blocker. So I think we have a decent uh, bluff catcher here, even though our flush isn't great. But... Uh, I just think they would do this with the Ace of Clubs a lot. We're getting a pretty good price on it being a bluff. There it is. Nice, dude. Uh, and the reason I call down is, again, because of this flop sizing, like, I'm just trying to put myself into the head of the average person, right? They raise pre, we call. We have 95K, and there's 16K in the middle. So how often are people going to bet under half pot with the nut flush draw on this board? Like, to me, it's just not a sizing you'd see very often, you know? Which is why I make the hero call there. And up here, we're raising this beautiful hand. And we're 135 at 358 here. We flop middle set again, and all the pairs. Uh, still worth betting here, I think, just given how many potential draws. Ooh, jack of hearts on the turn. All right, king queen gets there. We also have our own outs <laughs> for uh, making full houses. I think we bet and then fold turn if they just shove given the amount of draws. But if they have king, queen, like obviously uh, there's gonna check shove here and then we'll lose and it's fine. But we're really only preventing ourselves from two aces left in the deck, one 10 left in the deck, two sixes left in the deck, and then three jacks. So two out of five, eight outs, 16% that we're gonna make a full house on the river. Every time they have a hand that isn't king, queen, we don't wanna give them free cards. There's so many bad ones, up to 291. King, queen, jack, 10, five, sure. It's rappy enough for me. No nut suits though. It'd be nice to have a nut suit. We flop top pair and the second nut flush draw, but I'll start with a check. 
Big call. We'll just call here. Not really afraid of very many turns. That one gives us the nuts. Uh, yeah. We'll just do this. We have the nuts! They have the nuts as well! We had a free roll, but we end up chopping it up. Any club or 10 or jack would have given us the best hand there. Still, up to 200k, which is sweet. All right, let's call on position. Bottom set of sevens and a flush draw and a gut shot. This is a perfect flop for us. They check, we're gonna bet. We have a full house. Uh, it's not the nut full house though. I think controlling the size of the pot is good. Let's go back here. I end up value betting the river with our full house. And we get paid probably from the nut flush, most likely. Yeah, nut flush, there we go, man, nice. Look what we flopped here though, man. <laughs> Top set and nut flush draw. I still don't wanna check given we're five ways here and there's like wraps, you know. Like ace, queen, jack, queen, jack, nine, nine, eight, seven, jack, like all sorts of stuff that have a lot of equity. Uh, I wanna get all the money from tens and sixes before bad cards come off, like ace, queen, jack, diamonds, um, or even like a nine, you know? So we're gonna bet, even though we had the board smashed. It's five cards. People can have lots of outs, you know? Wouldn't mind calling, getting a call from either of these stacks. All right. Doing really well. Yeah, dead on the turn, man. Let's go. Guys, we almost have 500K. We almost have 500K. Queen, Jack, Jack, 10, three, double suited. Worth at least a defend for sure. We flop top pair and an open ender and a double backdoor flush draw. Diamond, diamond, spade, spade will give us a flush. All good things working for us. Not a reason to raise yet, but we'll call. Okay. Gives us two pair and we block the straights with both jacks here, which is cool. Seven, eight is a straight here too. It's worth noting. But I think we should at least call turn given uh, the blocking jack effect here. And of course we have full house outs. That's a really long tank and then a bet of 81k which I don't like. I feel like it's if it's anything, it's probably jack eight. Um, I don't think seven eight's gonna bet twice here. Um, I kind of want to hero call this though, honestly, guys. Blocking the straights with the jacks. We have a pretty good hero calling hand, especially with the queen 10 in our hand. Hearts miss, we don't block any hearts in our hand. Um, yeah, so I'm going to call, I think. King jack, they got it. They got it, also hearts, but. Hero call, unsuccessful. Ace, ace, seven, six, deuce. Pretty bad aces, I'm gonna limp. But if someone ice us, we can, you know, pile it in and whatever. Take like a tiny edge with some overlay and chips. Do it. No. All right, nice news is we flop trip sevens with an ace kicker. So we probably have the best hand right now. Going to bet. If someone has fours, we have one, two, three, four, five outs. They can definitely just have a seven here as well. Let's see. They have a seven. We're doing well. We're doing well. Oh, let's go. Double up. Unfortunately, it's against the front of the stream, but we'll take it, man. 350K. Come on. Okay. Uh, it's not the best hand in the world, but we are not suited and in position here. So if everyone folds to us, I'm happy to play this. And uh, they do. So let's raise. All right. We flop the bottom end of a wrap here. Check back, extend a wrap. Four, five, seven, ten, nine, queen gives us the nut straight. King is <laughs> not one of those. We can't even bluff, dude. We block all the things we want them to have as well. So annoying. King, king, five, five, four. This one I just want to pot. And we're, we're short enough now where it's like, uh, this is going to be the right move with... Everything we don't want to limp call. Okay. Flop a flush draw in the overpair and stuff. Feel pretty okay about this spot. They have jacks. Oh, seven's full. Whoa. What happened? Oh, we have a straight flush. Hey. Straight flush is good, man. Jack, jack, ten, nine, seven. Just limp call here. We have three friends of the stream on our table. Three, man. Damn. Hit me. Hit me with something. That's an interesting one. I think a get in still in that we have a jack high flush draw, but we also have the pair of jacks, which is somewhat relevant. Unless it goes like big bet call, then it's like, all right. They start with a check and we have 150 left with 300 in the middle. So hope for the best guys. This is it. A call. Okay, we're doing well, we're ahead. Let's go, we're ahead for 600K. We're back baby, 600K.
We're back in action. Come on, man. Oh, B cars on my table. Okay, we can't talk about my hands. You're on my table. I can't. I can't say what hand I have. I can't announce the action because she's right over there. I also can't show you guys B cars because she's in her pants. So, there you go. <laughs> uh, okay. This is weird. I'm gonna limp this in. She's folded now. I'm gonna limp this in. The king seven seven six three. Um, I like betting here in that we block all the straights with our sevens and our pair of sixes is gonna be tough to win at showdown with just sevens right now, so five on the turn. I think checking is good. We block the straights, but also we don't have the nut straight here. Um Yeah, maybe check and decide. It's really awkward. It's really awkward. Nine eight, nine six, nine five beats us. Seven ten beats us, but we block that. The thing that I missed are the ten jack type uh, situations. Should probably call for 68k. 8-9. Damn it. We are short again. 47 to 50. Limp it in. See a raise from Resco. Call from Rebecca. Who's over there? Oh, it's good. It's funny. Okay, Rebecca folds. <laughs> oh, Rebecca folds. That's funny. <laughs> Dodge. Let's go, you guys. 870K. Let's do this. Oh, my God. We're 35 of 45. There is 16 minutes left in play. Rebecca folds. I have king, queen, 10, 7, 6 with two suits. Uh, and I'm going to stab here. Not quite a hand I want to check call. We have a gut shot, we have double back to flush draw, we have some over cards, uh, a lot of good turns to give us outs. That gives us two gut shots and a flush draw. Going to bet again on the turn and hope to get there. Against Olazor, friend of the stream. We have the nuts. Hoping for a call, man, hoping for a call. There's a million chips in this pot, but it could be a million two. Or maybe they go crazy and raise bluff. Acrylicious dropping the three-month reset. Let's get some love of the chat. Yes, we get a call. 1.2 million, you guys. Let's go. Let's go. The thing is, whoever has the smallest stack at the end of the day has to buy breakfast tomorrow. This is my girlfriend. She's over there. Whoever has the smallest stack has to buy breakfast. Um, it's not looking good again. It's not looking good. Ten minutes left in the day before day two. A double day two would be pretty sick. Ace, queen, jack, six, six, double suited. But we are out of position here. I think it's worth a call. It's just a decently strong hand. Three broadways. The small pair doesn't really help us too much, but we are suited to the nut as well on the ace. So uh, I think we should call. Two minutes left in the day. This could be one of the last hands of the day. All right, and it's gonna be juicy, man. We flop it a, flop it a nut flush. A lot of good turns as well. King, nine, eight, giving us straight draw. Club giving us double flush draw. That call to the turn. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, so we make a flush. It's not the nut flush, though. I think we want to check here. And call the pot size bet. We have three of the clubs, man. They could definitely have the nut flush here, but I don't think we can fold. Oh, let's go! Catching the bluff! 1.7 million, Dottie! We got a minute left in the day. Come on! Come on, man! And I'm so close! To not have him to buy breakfast tomorrow. I just need another 700,000. Oh, God. Let's go. Good luck tomorrow, guys. Wow. Guys, we made day two. Rebecca, we made day two. We made day two of the same tournament. Let's go. I can't. She's dancing over there. I can't show you. She doesn't have pants on. 21 of 37. We're kicking it off. Rebecca's getting involved firsthand. We're gonna fold. Thankfully, we don't have to hide our cards from her because she's on a different table for now. Whoa, another big hand. The ace, ace, 10, 10, four, double suity. Let's -a go. Trying to catch up to Rebecca fast. All right, well, we have an all in early in this tournament. Raise call and a squeeze from the 20 big blind stack to 416K. This is just a clear all in. And hopefully six theory doesn't come along. Well, I mean, maybe, but we don't really want to take like a 6% edge for our life. We have a good edge here. Oh, let's go. Oh, no. Let's go, you guys. Come on. Up to three million chips early. Early in day two. We're in seventh place, man. Come on. Ace, queen, jack, seven, four, double suited here. One suit to the ace is nice. 
Definitely worth uh, a play. It's 100k here. I'm gonna peel in position. Gonna call. And Yeti fools. All right, we take it to the flop. We flop an open ender. The four seven three gives us the nuts. Eight gives us the second nuts. Uh, but you also have double back to flush draw as well. So definitely at least a call here. So many good turns. Uh, nine, for example, gives us some outs here. Uh, Queen Jack, we have the open ender. Um, we don't pick up a flush draw as well, but still. Uh, 240k, so we're getting 2.8 to 1. We need 27% equity. I still think it's a call here with all of our straight draws. That's the nut. No, no, it's not the nuts. 7 8 is the nuts. But we have a pretty good hand here with 4 7. 7 8 straight got there on the turn. It's, it's a clear call, though, on the river. The second nuts. Just got to dodge them having 7 8, which is possible for sure. They check, we'll bet. And a fold. All right. Pick it up, though. 3.6 million. 3.6 chipping up nicely. Let's go, guys. 8 of 32. Come on. 8 of 32. All right. King 10, 8, 5, 4. That is trip fours. Scoops it. 2 million go down. I missed Bean. Oh, my God. We're at the same table now. Oh, she's got position on me. No, B car. You got position. All right, guys. Now, I can't obviously announce my hands. Because she's over there, so I have to keep it quiet, uh, what I have. She has headphones on, so she can't hear anyways, but it doesn't matter. I'm still, just to be extra careful. Raise, get it through B-car. Neatos. Thanks, man. Thanks for the good luck. Get three bet out of the big blind to 359. I mean, we're not folding in five card, really. We're just getting too good of odds to uh, three bets. So we'll call here. Flop the nut flush draw. Here we go. We got a gamble here. Uh, they check. And we're going to bet. I mean, we're obviously not folding, so we might as well bet a sizing where we show them we're not folding, but it doesn't look as weak as, like, just a pot. So we'll bet 550. Yeah, let's go. Oh, it's so good when we win there, guys. Four million. Come on. And I can't say anything about that hand. Rebecca's still in then. B-Car putting in a small raise here on the turn. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Good game. Rebecca's out in 24th, you guys, for $137.84. Get some F for respect out for B card, guys. F for respect. Get it out. And I know I'm your second choice, but I'm going to do my best to take it down in her honor. All right, we're going to bet here with our nut flush. We have the nuts, we also have a pear. You know, some backdoor full houses. We get a call from Axa. Queen. Uh, it's going to be really hard to get paid flop turn and river here. Really hard. Uh, so I'm actually going to check. Yes, I give some free cards to full house draws, but I just don't think I'm going to get paid on the turn. They're just going to fold so often. So I'm just going to check, and then uh, hopefully gets paid on the river from the queen high flush here. It's probably the queen high flush here. Um, maybe the ten high flush. 10 high flush is tough, and I think probably a fold given that we uh, we could value bet a queen. But a queen, they probably just had to call, and it sucks. They had set of sevens. Okay. That's a bluff catch for sure. Ace, king, nine, six, three, double suited or raise. I mean, it's definitely a bluff catch. My line is weird checking the turn, but I think that it'd be nice to have diamonds in your hand. She's too busy texting me. <laughs> What's up, Natalie? How you doing? All right, lead for 120, which is super tiny. The thing is, we have a mid pair. We have double backdoor flush draw, though. This doesn't make a lot of sense. I mean, we're getting 4.6 to 1 in position on that lead, so I'll call. I don't know. It's very weird. It'd be nice if we had some flush draws to go along with. Now we hit a king, so we have two pair kings and nines, and we pick up the, uh, the flush draw. I'm just going to call, though. Jack-10 is definitely very possible for them to have here. Uh, it's a hand that makes a lot of sense. And now we have a flush, so uh, we'll raise. We'll so this is a small blind, we'll limp. 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, double suited with bad suits, so they're not super relevant. Um, but definitely run down enough that we want to play. And again, don't really want to inflate the pot uh, out of position here. This is a beautiful flop, though. We flop the nuts with 5, 8, and we have two pair for the redraw. Uh, I think check raise is good here. Obviously, it sucks when a spade comes off, but we can just get like basically all the money in by the turn. So we got to hope for no spade. If a seven or a six comes off, we still have the best hand as well. So that's cool. I think just limp call out of position. This is a strong hand, but again, we don't want to inflate the pot against a good player here. 
Flop two pair, check call again. No need to inflate this pot. Let's just start with a check call. Backdoor diamond, just sweet. We have three pair. Uh, lead bluff here. Can bluff better two pairs. Nice. Yeah, we can't try and show down with our eight six there. Because uh, you think like king, king jack beats us, king eight beats any king two pair, um, any jack two pair, nine seven can go check check, seven four can go check check. It's just a spot we have to bluff when we don't hit our hand, but we have the ace of uh, hearts blocker, so we'll do that. And fold here, six point seven million fifth place. We raise up the king ten six five four to whatever hand, and we just <laughs> oh I thought we flopped the the nut straight. We didn't. We flopped. Second pair and the nut flush draw. Check back. That's a good turn as well because we pick up 3-4 um, combo. I don't mind bluffing here though. We're sort of bluffing, right? Um, if they have queen 10, they win. That's cool. But we can put a lot of pressure on like ace-deuce type hands. And then we can of course get there sometimes. Just bet for value. I don't, I don't want to pot it because I just don't think I'm really bluffing for pot here. To make a lot of sense. Take it down. We made the nuts a lot, just so you guys know. We've had a lot of the nuts so far in this tournament on day two. It's been good, man. It's been all right. All right, here's a nice end. King, queen, jack, jack, five. Double suited to the king and the queen. Definitely worth at least a call unless we see a re-raise. We call to the streets. All right, we flop. The second nut flush. Scratch that. The uh, nut flush. I'm gonna bet because we want to try and get value from sets here. And like maybe Ace King, maybe a tiny flush. Uh, Deuce Four of Hearts beats us for what it's worth. Can't bet huge. Nice, because we we block all the flushes, you know? So it's like, what are we trying to get paid by here? Uh, top set of Aces. Oh no, yeah, top set of Aces. Hey, this is all right. Ace, Ace, Queen, Jack, Five with a suit. Call from Dekuz. And we go heads up to the flop, which is super dry. We have top set. I think we should honestly start with a check. We hardly ever check here, but like, man, there's nothing going on. Like, 654 is the only conceivable draw. All right. And now we'll check raise turn. Damn. <laughs> we got punished. We got punished, dude. We have top set, and then the spades get there. Oh, dude. We don't block any spades either. And 5-6 gets there as well. <laughs> we blocked that. I think we have to fold. <laughs> it's 500k to 1.1 million too. We definitely lose. We block the aces like... Uh, yeah. We lose. <laughs> that sucked. Well, get punished for slow playing, dude, in Omaha. Whew. Ace, king, king, 7-7. Seven, seven. Double suit. One to the ace, one to the king. This is nice, man. This is a nice hand. We would like a reshove from Axa. Let's get this in, dude. Oh, they fold. All right. How about you next? All right, a call. Oh, we flop. Middle set. We'll bet. Middle set. There's a lot of things we're protecting from here. Eight. Okay. Uh, some straights get there and stuff. I think bet fold is probably good. Like fold if they shove, obviously, because they can have all the straights. But we want to protect against all the diamonds and stuff like that. Five on the river is really bad because they can have nine X... Or four and any of those cards and win. Yeah, four five, dude. Four five, it sucks. Double suited, ace king, jack five three. Out of position again, but I think we can call this even against a button raise here. We'll play. And just call though. A squeeze to 960. Uh, this is interesting. This can be aces, this can be rundowns and stuff like that, but we're getting too good of a price to full. We're getting two to one. And with our stack, it's going to be relatively simple to play on the flop. So this is a spot where we need to call and hope we hit something. And this is awkward. We flop top pair, um, but without diamonds, without any straight draws. Now we have two pair um, and the nut flush draw. So we just pot it. Uh, we're going to lose to jacks that check on the flop maybe, but they don't even check. It's really likely they have an over pair here. We could lose to jack six, seven, eight... This is technically possible, but we're not going to be check folding, and check calling gives free cards to a lot. So I think I'm just going to bet call here, guys. And obviously just hoping for a fold. Nice, take it down. And let's raise and get a 3-bet from Axa. How about that? Raise, call, 3-bet squeeze, jam, fold, call. Flip it in with some dead big blinds. No? Okay. 
Flop the nut flush and a overpair. Nut flush draw. Check back. King of the turn. All right. Uh, mandatory call on the turn here with the nut flush. And then also we have two clean outs to make like a sick boat and stack them sometimes. And the decision is on the river. Do we call or not? Um, and it's kind of tough, man, because the thing is we have the ace of hearts, which is a combo you'd want to have in your hand to bluff on this heart turn, you know? They're never betting any worse hearts, so they need to be bluffing other random hands. Like, I think they really need this card to bluff. I think they have a full house. And they're never betting just a king, like trips for value. They're never doing that. Uh, I don't think they're betting two streets for value ever on the paired board with a, uh, a jack high flush either. So it's literally has to be a bluff or or they're beating us. There's no, they're not value betting any worse hands. Uh, 10, 9, 7, 6, 6. Wrap, and we are in position here. I think calling is good. I guess like ace is in position. We get to play really well. You can see there's 1.1 million in the middle. We get to decide here. And we flop a wrap and a top pair. So we get it in. Making sure I have a wrap yet. Against the nut plus draw. Go, oh, let's go! 4.4 million huge to hit the diamonds. Oh, that was intense, man. 6.8 million, guys. We're in 6 of 11. We ladder up to 539. That's huge. Um, yeah, I'm going to check, actually. Even this, I'm going to check. It's like, um, if we just pot it and then we inflate the pot on the flop, it's like, we give them the opportunity to put us to last action, which we really don't want. Check here. There's hardly any bad turns. I guess a club's bad. We block all the pairs as well. Call turn. We have a bad straight. Jack, queen. Wait, is that a straight? Queen, jack, 10, 9. No, it isn't. We have a set of aces. We'll fold. Ace, king, 5, 4, deuce. Kind of got a low wrap type thing going on. Start with a check call with top and bottom pair and a gut shot. Three gives us the nuts as well. 10 on the turn. This doesn't change too much. Uh, a pot size bet. Again, I think this is a call. Um, that 10 really doesn't change too much. I doubt they're going to do this with ace, 9 as well. So... We're up against a set of nines, or ace, nine, ten. Uh, bottom set of fours. Damn. That sucks. Bottom set of fours. All right. Three, five, six, six, seven. We can call, like, min raises and stuff. And just hope to hit this flop, obviously, with straight type stuff. And just fold on that board. We have a full house. Um, we're not protecting from anything here. It's going to be really hard to get a worse hand to pay us off on two streets. And if they have a 10 and we check twice, I expect them to bet. So uh, I'll check. And then if a bet comes in from max, we call. Because if by raising, we're not getting called by 7-8. They can have 10x full houses as well. So we just call on the river. But we probably have the best hand right now. It's, it's really likely. They have 10-9. <laughs> Alright. Oh, we're so ninja, dude. Somehow we survive in these spots. So sick. Here we go. All in. And we have 62%, which is sweet. Oh, flipping. Oh, we're doing well. Oh, let's go. 2.7 million. We're back, daddy. Come on. That's the Jay Carver run good right there. Let's go, you guys. 2.7 million. All right, let's do it. Let's do it, Max. Okay, we're doing well. We're doing really well. Uh, let's go, man. Another double up. Three and a half million check. Come on. Let's go. We're back. Seven of nine now. Let's go. Ace, queen, queen, seven, deuce with a suited ace. Uh, it's going to be a call of reasonable raises from Nax and of any raise from this Max. By the way, guys, we have Max, Nax, and X at our table. So that's fun. <laughs> we have flopped the second nuts. Um, I'm really not worried about protecting here. <laughs> I'm really not. And we're Raise River. Let's go, man. Come on, guys. Five million chips. Let's go. A pot size raise from Pam Pam, uh, which right off the bat is awkward because they only have 11 big blinds. We have to call here. Um, we're getting two to one odds, and we get to play really well against them post flop. So hope to flop like two pair. That's it. And I'm going to stop and go. I can't rely on them C betting enough. Flop three pair. Hope to dodge like aces and diamonds or whatever. That would suck, because we'd be slightly behind, I think, but we'll just stop and go. There you go again, OMG. What does that mean? <laughs> what do you mean? 
What do you mean, dude? 6.6 melee, nice. East Jack 10, 6, 7 with a nut suit. Plan is to limp and then call a raise. It's quite a strong hand in position, but we don't want to raise and then have to play for stacks when there's a bunch of other shorter stacks. Okay, beautiful. We flop trip jacks. I'm going to play this quite slow, though. Um, I think it's much better to check back given the situation. Sick theory bets, though, we'll call. We have the nuts. Uh, we want to get value from Jack X here. And if they, let's say Thick Theory has like King, Queen, Jack or something, it's really tough for them. Hmm. Yeah, they're folding, I think. Sick Theory, friend of the stream, but like, I think when they talk, like how can they say hmm and then call? You know? Yeah, bottom eights. Listic gets to see this, but pretty sure I'm in bad shape. Good fold. That's the thing. Is like, it's, it's hard to get value there. It's hard to get that value there. You could be stone dead against ace jack. And when I call flop, it's pretty likely I have a jack. And if I'm betting, it's pretty likely I have an ace. Our new hand, ace nine, seven, six, three. I am going to limp here. We cover our opponent. And they 3x. All right, we'll call. Ooh. <laughs> we have the bottom end of the wrap here. Uh, and a top pair of aces. Uh, this sucks, man. But I don't think we can fold. The thing is, uh, a six... A seven, a nine, a jack, give us a straight, plus we have all the two pair outs. But it's so dumb that we have to play for five million chips here. This just dictates so much of the tournament, but we gotta do it, just cause math. Oh, they pot fold, they pot fold, they pot fold. Did you guys see that? They potted, they potted. They're like, the maximum, I bet it. And then went all in for them, like, okay, well I triple your maximum all in. And they're like, mm, you caught me, I fold. Oh my god, dude. Oh. Uh, we get dealt another crappy uh, kind of situation. Like, we definitely can't raise here, but it's just like, this seems so strong. All right. And uh, lead? Nah, still check, dude. Still check. And then check shove. And if they have 9-10 uh, with spades, we have the higher straight draw. Um... But we have to hope for the best, dude. They have jack high spades. Eighth place. Eighth place for 70-74. GG. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you liked that deep run. I had a great time. Once again, leave me any comments down below. A thumbs up, a subscribe. That would be awesome. Thanks so much for watching. Till next time, we'll see you later.